Welcome to the world of Sleuthit. My name is Inspector Bartram, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the green screen feature in iMovie. This video, a green screen demo video, and some high quality demonstration backgrounds are available to download from the Sleuthit website, sleuthit.com, for you to try this out. All Sleuthit games come with high quality media for your students to use in their projects. OK, let's get started. Import your green screen video and images into photos on your iPad. You can see my images and video here. Now open iMovie. Tap on the plus symbol and select Movie to create a new project. Select Create Movie here at the bottom of the screen. This opens the iMovie workspace with your video previewed here, top left, as you work on it. Your media is shown top right to bring into your project. And your video timeline is at the bottom where you'll add your media, titles, transitions, etc. Browse to your photos in media and select the image you wish to use for your background. Tap on the plus icon here to add it to your video timeline. Note the Ken Burns effect animation is on by default. To switch this off, select your image and tap on this screen image to toggle this on and off. I'll add a second image to demonstrate how easy it is to add media, images or video to a project and edit them. Here's my second image. I add it to the timeline as before. And now I can edit the length of time each is shown. This technique is exactly the same for video clips, by the way. Now navigate back through your media to your videos and select your green screen video. But don't select the plus icon this time. Select these three dots to the right of the preview icon. This brings up a menu of really useful video effects. Picture in picture is a great effect, for example. However, in this case, we want to use green screen. Selecting this adds our video over the top of our images. Note, this will be added to the current position of the playhead. Notice how the green screen effect happens automatically to your footage. You can now export your video as you normally would from iMovie. Check out sleuthit.com for more how-to videos. We'll be adding these regularly to the website. By the way, information on green screen paint and backdrops can also be found on the website where you found this video. Good luck with your iPad projects.